Good morning. So I am Jennifer and I have a word from the Lord this morning. So our scripture today comes from Hebrews 11, 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please and be satisfactory to him for whoever would come near to God. Whoever will come near to God must necessarily believe that God exists and that he is the rewarder of those who earnestly and diligently seek him out. Let me say that again. For those who earnestly and diligently seek him out. So I want you to ask yourself today, are you earnestly seeking the Lord? Are you diligent about seeking the Lord? I'm telling you, the Lord, when I started seeking him with everything that I had and started making a sacrifice for him, I'm going to wake up early so that I could seek the Lord. You know what? I felt myself getting up at four o'clock in the morning and I said, you know what? I'm going to get up, right? The Lord was literally waking me up and say, go pray. So I was doing that. I started seeking him throughout the day. My heart was set on hearing from him. And when I heard from him, oh, it built this hunger and this thirst to hear from him. I wanted to hear what it was that he had to say. Oh, he wet my appetite for him. Why? Because it was so good. God, you going to give me instructions for my life. You going to give me understanding for where I've been, where I'm at, and where I'm going. You going to give me direction. God, you going to heal these souls. God, you going to give me the word that I need to hear to get me to the next place in my life. God, you're going to give me what's needed to heal my very soul, to heal my children's soul, to heal my husband's soul. Oh, you going to give me what I need to repair my marriage, to repair my children's relationship with myself. You're going to give me what I need to carry out this responsibility that you've given me. Oh God, you're going to soften my heart. God, you're going to cleanse and purify my heart. God, you're going to give me a new steadfast spirit. I got to get up to see you. It's not an option. It's not if. It's I have to. You know, when you hear people talk about stuff and they say, well, you know, when I feel like it or, you know, I'm not comfortable really doing it. So when I feel ready to do it, no, I want to feel at ease with this thing. Well, you know, sometimes, you know, when I think about it, I'll do it. When people talk like that, you already know, you already know something in you checks that box that says they don't really want it bad enough. Actually, it makes you not even want to invest not only in what they're doing, but in the conversation because their commitment is not there. The chances of them being able to reap the fruit, nevertheless, just see fruit from what it is that they're venturing to do is zero, right? It's very little that you're going to be able to get any result from these haphazard attempts, right? Oh, well, you know, that's just not me. Okay. Oh, but when someone comes to you and they're like, I'm doing this no matter what. I'm getting up early in the morning. I'm coming back and revisiting this thing later in the day to make sure that thing was done. I've reordered my life for this. I changed my 
schedule for this. I purchased this. I got this. I did this. I set this up so that I could make this thing happen. I put my whole family on alert. This is where I'm at with this thing so they can understand this thing has a high level of priority in my life and they can get some understanding and make way for it, right? Like I'm setting my life to this thing. This thing will happen. This thing has to happen and I'm going to do everything I can to make sure it does. It's not an option in this season. This thing will be done. When people talk like that, that's power in that. That power is infectious. You want to get involved in it. They could be talking about hockey. <laughs> they could be talking about their experience, their skill set with hockey, something you don't care nothing about. But all that fire, all that passion, you want some of that. You want to start looking at your life and you start thinking, what can I do? do in my life where I can get that fire and passion because I want the fire and passion because that thing has to happen that you back them you say yes you got this yes you could do this if there's something I could do to help you with that you want to get involved in that so think about God think about when you ah, when I feel like talking to him I'll talk to him. When, when the spirit moves me, when, when I have time, I just don't have time. <laughs> oh, I'll spend a couple minutes, but ah, I really got stuff to do. I really can't, you know, sit here all day. What am I supposed to do? When you're rushing, God, I don't hear you. So I'm just about to leave. You got five minutes. I'm about to do this thing for 10 minutes and I'm done. If I don't hear nothing, I'm out. Who has time in the morning? I just don't feel like it. I'm not a morning person. Okay. What do you think God is saying? He's like, come back to me when you have to. Come back to me. When you invest your whole soul into this thing, come back to me when you have a hunger, a thirst, a drive to hear from me, to connect with me. Come back to me when you can't start your day without hearing from me. Come back to me. Come back to me when your day ain't even right unless you heard a word from me, unless you spent time in my presence. Come back to me. Oh, when hearing from me, when a word from me is like water, when you look at me as the living water, when you look at me as the bread of life, when you start hungering and thirsting for that, Woo! Watch what God does with that. Watch what God does with that. If you are made in his image and you, you get inspired, you get turned up, you want to get involved when somebody's whole heart is in it, in a thing. And then when you say, okay, <laughs> when someone's like, they feel like it. God is a rewarder for those who diligently, diligently seek him. I want you to take a minute to listen to some of these scriptures. Isaiah 55, 6, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. Psalm 27, 8, you have said, seek my face. My heart says to you, your face, Lord, I do seek. Psalm 63, 1, earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh faints for you as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. Mark 1, 35, rising very early in the morning while it was still dark, he departed and went out to a desolate place and there he prayed. My God, seek the Lord, seek the Lord. Sometimes we'll seek other things more than we'll seek the Lord. We'll seek our means of entertainment. We'll seek YouTube. Some people seek TikTok, Twitter, all this social media stuff. Oh, your day ain't right unless you've got on and gotten your little bit of entertainment for the day. Gotten your chill for the day. 
Some people seek out girlfriends, boyfriends, husbands, or wives. Oh, how could I go a day without speaking to them? If they went a day without speaking to you, you would be like, something's wrong. Some people hunger and thirst for the gym. Where's your hunger and thirst for the Lord? You get great results from the gym. Oh, your flesh, your flesh is strong. Your flesh is built up. Your flesh is muscular. It is, it is full of ego and vanity and all the things of this world, all the things of the flesh. Flesh is strong. Oh, but your spiritual man, where is it at? Because you're not feeding it. Because you're not building up that hunger and thirst for it. Seek the Lord diligently because he's a rewarder of it. So let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I ask that you build up a hunger and a thirst within us to seek you. For those of us that don't understand why it's important not just to seek you, but there's something about seeking you early. For those of us that don't understand that, that you desire that, Lord, reveal to us the reason. Help us with the understanding of it. Bend, incline our hearts to want to know you, to want to hear from you. Lord, give us patience so that we will sit as long as it takes to hear from you. Give us a steadfastness of unwavering Lord. Give us a consistency that allows us to come back to you that develops that every day I seek the Lord consistently. Not every once in a while, but every day. Matter of fact, every chance I got, I get. God, give us the discipline. Give us the discipline to make this a practice, to make this a routine in which daily we do this thing and not a day goes by without us seeking to hear from our Lord. I pray these things in your name. Amen.